Hello reformers and welcome back to A Clash of Kings 4.1. Now when we left off we were still in Essos and we had just done battle with some Roinar bandits and I initially thought that we were going to have some problems with them but thankfully it seems like we were, shall we say, a little bit too worried or should I say I was a little bit too worried. Anyway, as you can see here we currently have a very very good opportunity. I'll tell you why this is a good opportunity very very soon but at the moment we have to deal with 19 slavers. Now we have 23 not much has happened since the previous episode I was basically just waiting at Mer, and I thought to myself okay what's the best way to get money? Well obviously taking prisoners. That is a good way to get money. Now the only other way that I know how to get money, as at least in the Clash of Kings, is obviously buying salt and getting loot, as well as of course doing quests. So technically, if I were to participate in the tournament at 9 stars, that would technically give us quite a bit of cash, but it really depends on if I would be able to succeed. So that is indeed a bit of a bit of a problem. So I'm thinking we're probably just going to stick around here, try and do as best we can against the various factions, minor factions should I say, in Essos. And we're going to see if we can kind of gain uh, enough money to make enough to purchase a masterwork Mirish crossbow. That is the main thing that I would like to get. I'm going to tell our people to stand closer here as well because these are all horsemen. And they are hopefully going to get stuck. No, they're not. Well, that's unfortunate. That is very, very unfortunate. Come on, kill, kill them. Kill. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's not, that's not good, is it? No, that's not good at all. Okay, come on, come on. I think we can do this. We've just got to. Ah, uh, it seems like, it seems like the slave is really good. Wow, I am actually really surprised about that because you would think that slavers would not be that good, but apparently they are. So yes, yeah, so let's see if I can pull this off somehow. I don't know whether this is going to happen. Oh, look at Did you see what a wonderful slash? Oh, oh my. What? What is going on? Did you see what a wonderful slash that was? Oh, yes. I saw it. You saw it. Everyone saw it. And then we had a moment and everyone was just elated. Just overflowing with joy. And it seems like we're actually doing a pretty decent job here. After the initial assault, everything seems to be going, you know, in our favor. So... I'm pretty surprised at that actually because initially it seemed like we were in a very very bad position indeed so I'm very happy that that has changed and we are losing a bunch of our spearmen as well maybe I should not have spent so much money on recruiting Mirish units but the main reason why I did that is because I actually wanted to be able to win fights and spending a little bit of money and investing a little bit of that cash in being able to you know, continue our, you know, efforts in Essos and actually, you know, earn money and fight things, earn experience, and that sort of thing. That definitely makes a huge difference in comparison to just not doing that and basically just getting by every single fight very, very closely. You know, personally, I don't want to continue doing that. I feel like getting by and just being able to scrape on through every single time we do a battle, that is something that I definitely don't want to do. Now, here's the problem with these slavers. These slavers are extremely irritating when it comes to them running around and everything. I mean, you would think that they would be horse archers, but they're actually not. I mean, some of them are horse archers and everything, but it seems like this guy in particular is being extremely irritating because he has some throwing weapons, but he's not even, I mean, he's not even that good with them. So why does he, why does he bother shooting them? Well, never mind. Yes. I mean, I should basically be talking to myself in that regard because you know me, I'm very bad with throwing weapons sometimes, uh, especially on horseback. And there you go. Nice. We advanced to level 10, we gained 10 renown, and here's the main reason why I wanted to do this. Yeah. Oh yeah. They have a bunch of really high level units, and I am extremely pleased to say that we have a bunch of those ready to join us. So I actually don't even know what to do here, because we have mounted Reachman Halberdiers. We have elite Reachman Pikemen. I, I, I mean, here's the thing. If I take these... We are going to have to do so many fights because we're not going to have enough money. We're literally not going to have enough money to be able to sustain 
our, shall we say, way of life if we continually take all of these. Yes, th yes, bad things are happening. <laughs> Technically, they're good things, but you can see my weekly cost has now skyrocketed all the way up to a thousand. So I'm thinking what I might try to do. Wow, this is terrible. Absolutely awful loot. Anyway, 205 coins, yes. But anyway, as I was saying, I think what I might try to do is speak to a vassal from Mer and seeing if we can become a mercenary of theirs. Because I know, I know, I said I wanted to become a vassal and indeed a mercenary of the Westerlands. But the main problem with that is that I don't have any way that I can win any of those battles. I'm going to have to just leech along the sidelines, and I personally didn't want to have to do that. So if I do become a vassal of Myrrh, or not a vassal, but a mercenary of Myrrh, then I might be able to just become a vassal. I mean, become a mercenary. Ugh, why do I keep saying vassal? Weird. Anyway, point is, if I become a mercenary, then I could go back to Westeros, and then I would have no problems, because if I was at war with anyone in Essos, then I wouldn't have to worry about anyone attacking me in Westeros, and I would still be able to acquire and receive my weekly wages from Myr itself. So, shall I, shall I, uh, yeah, is, wait a minute, is this guy actually the, I think he's actually the leader. I think he is actually the leader. I am unsure about that. It seems like he might be because he has a pretty large party here. All right, well, I guess we'll just do this quest. Currently believed to be at Janash. Okay, well, we're going to head over there and see what's going on. Oh, they like us. Oh, that's fantastic. Look at that. They like us a lot because we previously helped them get rid of some bandits. Now, this is fantastic because that means I will be able to kill the murderer without having to worry about their relations decreasing so much that I will be unable to recruit their units from here any further. So that's lovely because I think we have about seven right now and it's probably going to go to five, I think, because I seem to remember that uh, I, I don't know, I think maybe it changes per mod, I don't think it does, but anyway, the point is is that I think the relation is going to go down by two. I previously thought that it went down by three, but apparently apparently that's not the case. I'm looking for a man in the Rebbe Seminar. Yes, I'm looking for this guy. Execute the law. Okay, so I'm going to wait until he draws his sword, because I don't really want to kill him while he's unarmed, and we're going to then see... Whether we're able to, yeah, cut, beat, yes, beat him down. There we go. Yes. So as you can see, the relation does still decrease. I was hopeful that if I let him draw his sword, that wouldn't make too much difference. But I think that's only a specific mod that changes how that interacts. But yes, you do lose two relations. So it's nice that we were just doing that one because we already have a positive relation with them. So that's fantastic. Anyway, let's go and speak to this guy once again. He's going to be very, very happy with us. Yes, I found him. This is blood money. I can't accept it. Mm, give me that honor. Thank you very much. Do you have any other tasks? Is he the leader? Is he literally the leader? If it would please you, can you tell me about your skills? Let's have a look at his skills. What? Look at his leadership. It's crazy. He's got 10 in leadership. That's amazing. I'd love to have some of that. Thank you very much. Anyway, mm, let's see. I want to know the uh, seminar. Uh, yes, I want to know the location of people. Apparently, he is the leader. He is the leader of the, of the Mirians, the Mirish, or whatever. So this this is oh wow, that is not a very good thing indeed. Because I actually wanted to come across a vassal because they're the ones that can invite you to become a mercenary in the first place. Well. That's a shame, isn't it? Okay, well, Brynden has advanced in level. I have also advanced in level, so I suppose I should just continue leveling them up a little bit. So what are we going to do here? Are we going to level up Brynden into engineering? I suppose we are going to do that, because eventually we are going to need someone that is an engineer, and I think that he is probably going to fit the bill for that. And I think there are actually a couple of companions that do have engineering as a, as a base, but yeah, anyway, I think that's fine. Now, we have also advanced in level. As I said beforehand, we advanced to level 10, which is fantastic. So what do I want to do? Ah, oh, this is difficult. What do I want to do? I don't actually know because I'd love to be able to go for leadership because that would give us a couple more spaces in our army and it would reduce the wages, which we are now suffering from. So that might be a good 
idea. I mean, we have a huge amount of athletics, shield, weapon master, power strike already. Not, not really a huge amount, but we have enough, in my opinion. So I think I'm actually going to improve our charisma. And I'm going to go for, I don't know, I, I guess I'm going to try to get about... Uh, I don't know, maybe four leadership. So 12 charisma and obviously, you know, getting a little bit of prisoner management is going to help us out a little bit as well. So hopefully we'll be able to do something like that. Otherwise, I think we're pretty good. We're just going to continue going along here and wow, look at those wages. That's crazy. That is real craziness right there. Okay, so at least, ah, oh, there we go. There's one of the vassals. Where are you going? Come back here. I need to speak to you immediately, sir. Yes. Okay, so yes, now they, there you go. I have 45 spaces. That's fantastic. That's really nice. Okay, so where is he? There he is. Get him. Speak to him. Tackle him. All that sort of thing. Hello there. Okay, do you have any tasks? Do you have any tasks? Do you have any tasks? Are you, are you serious that you don't have any tasks for me? I am shocked and appalled. I'm going to write a letter to your superior. <laughs> an angry letter. Yes, an angry letter. Oh, hello there, Sellsword Marauders. I'm going to be doing some damage against you. Okay, so apparently I'm going to need to find a different vassal because that guy apparently does not want to help us out by offering us a mercenary contract. I would love to be able to get one, but apparently it's unavailable at the moment, which is a great shame. It would have been fantastic if we would have been able to, you know, get something like that. But oh well, never mind. But yeah, at least we now have a pretty much 100% certainty that we will win most battles at the moment. With the exception of those that kill the most important units. So I do need to be a little bit cautious of our... What are, what are, what are these guys again? Mounted Reachman Halberdiers. That's crazy. Look at them. That is really crazy. I think they're going to be really, really effective. Hopefully, at the very least. Anyway, let's see how we do against these guys. They obviously do have crossbowmen, so that is a bit of a problem. And I'm wearing... Uh, I really hate the armor I'm wearing at the moment. I personally feel like it is probably the worst armor that I could be wearing in terms of fashion. You know, it just looks terrible, doesn't it? I mean, it just looks absolutely awful. I would prefer if I was wearing something a little bit less annoying because it looks like nomad armor that's the main reason why i don't really like it it looks like nomad armor from native and personally nomad armor i don't mind it but we are level 10 and i personally feel like being level 10 i should not be wearing anything that is this should we say early game you know i don't really want to be using anything like that so hopefully i'll be able to get a bit of an upgrade as we go and maybe i'll be able to find some bigger bandit parties or something along those lines i mean here's the thing i personally felt like the pirates and the area surrounding where we are right now is probably the best place to find bandits but unfortunately it doesn't seem like that's the case i mean yes for the most part we're gaining a pretty decent amount of enemies and experience and money and all that sort of thing but I was hopeful that we would be able to find even more parties but it seems like the various vassals in the area are causing a, a bit of a divide there a bit of a void in the amount of enemies that you can actually find here because they're they are just killing them all aren't they so anyway one renown that is absolutely terrible absolutely terrible and there's a good reason for that obviously we already know we already know why there's a problem with that because we have such a large army now and we go you know we went against some people that only had a very small amount okay so these guys can only become spearmen what's what's actually going on with that why are they only becoming spearmen because I was under the impression that I could get some crossbowmen which would actually be pretty cool but it seems like the village recruits that you can now get, the slave soldiers, quote-unquote, they can only become spearmen, because as far as I'm aware, in previous versions, you could make the Mirish into both. You could make them into crossbowmen and into, well, whatever the infantry variant was. I'm actually unaware of that. But anyway, do you have any... Aha! What's this? Uh, no, I'm not going to take taxes for you, thank you very much. But I would like to become a mercenary of yours. No? You don't want to... Ah, uh, yes. Apparently they don't want me to become a mercenary of theirs. That is rather disappointing, I have to admit. Anyway, there is something that I wanted to do. Yes, I wanted to take a look at the troop trees. So, first off, I'm going to save, because you never know when you look at a troop tree in a mod whether it's going to crash. 
you know, it just it just happens. You can view all items as well, if you so desire. Anyway, upgrade trees are the things that I wanted to speak to. <laughs> yes, I wanted to speak to them. Anyway, I'm going to take a look at... Uh, they don't... What? Why, 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 why do they not... Oh, this is wrong, because as you can see, these are uh, Swadian peasants. Yeah, okay, so never mind. Apparently that's not the place that I need to go to. Is there is there another place that I can look at at that? It does not seem that that is the case. Ah, very strange, very strange. Usually there is a troop tree, but okay, never mind. Apparently there isn't one at the moment, so I can't tell where you get the crossbowmen from. I would assume that you're going to get the crossbowmen from the noble units, uh, you know, from the towns and from the castles and things like that. So, ah, that's that's quite interesting actually. Basically, what's that, what that is doing is locking the better units, the higher tier units, the more proficient units behind a renown wall, basically. So, you need to make do with the lower tier units, you know, the less proficient ones, and get them, you know, get, get enough renown to be able to get the better ones. So, that's, that's pretty interesting. That is actually pretty interesting because... Initially, you think to yourself, okay, I'm going to go and get some Mirish Crossbowmen. You know, I'm going to get some Mirish Crossbowmen. Hopefully, that's going to, you know, result in us being able to kill people from very far away and, you know, not expend too many of our lives, you know, because Crossbowmen are generally pretty good at staying alive and, you know, this is no different. I'd like to, you know, I'd like them to actually stay alive and, you know, gain experience and basically just mean that we have a really, really nice, small, elite force for us to roam around with and hopefully become a mercenary and, you know, just go from there. And that was my initial plan when I had thought to myself, hey, let's go to Essos and, you know, find some bandits. That was my plan that, you know, kind of changed from me using Westerlands units, of course. But we're very close, I think, to getting 10... I oh, 10... 10 renown, really? 75 renown, I was about to say, yes. 75 renown is what we need be able to recruit Westeros units and I think I'm actually pretty close with that so I'm gonna I'm gonna just see what's happening with that soon and maybe we'll be able to go back to Westeros and maybe we can join the Westerlands then or something like that maybe there isn't actually any opportunity to become a mercenary any further and maybe you have to either be a freelancer or a vassal because I'm 100% sure well I think at the very least, I'm pretty sure, like 95% sure then, I guess I'll say, that those vassals that I just spoke to would have been absolutely happy for me to become a mercenary of theirs. But it doesn't seem like that was the case this time around, so I'm very, very worried about that. Thankfully, I can finally swap out that fur armor because I don't really care because it has the same armor values, but I just like the different look. Because, again, it looks like nomad armor, and I personally feel like that is absolutely awful. Anyway. Aha, there we go. There we go. The Stormlands are now declaring war against Dragonstone and the Westerlands. And so it begins. Yes, so it begins. All right, so let's speak to this guy. Hopefully he's going to... No? You don't want to give me a task to become a mercenary? Do I just not have enough honor, or do I not have a big enough party or something? Huh. Well, that's very weird. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can find a couple more bandits. Maybe we can even take on some Dothraki units now, because we do have some spearmen, and these spearmen are going to be extremely effective against Dothraki mounted units. So let's see whether that is indeed the case, but obviously at the moment I am very, very poor. I'm going to need to find some money soon. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.